Hey, this is Chris with Vid Society. What if I told you you could take an ordinary WordPress website just like this one that was just installed and turn it into this website in less than three minutes to look exactly like this? Already loaded with content, ready to go. All you have to do now is go in and customize it, change out the logo if you want to, change out the banners if you want, start adding your own content, your own articles, and even your own product reviews so you can start earning money whether you want to add AdSense to your website or maybe you want to offer affiliate reviews of different products from Amazon, product launches, or whatever it is, that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today by giving you my very own custom designed affiliate marketing WordPress theme that you can see right here. All right, let's get started. Now obviously to build a WordPress website, you do have to have your own domain name and your own hosting. So once you have that set up and you've gone through cPanel and installed WordPress, you should have something that looks like this here, the default theme that shows up when you install WordPress. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and jump into WordPress and we're gonna go down to plugins, add new, and on the right hand side you're going to type in all in one and you should see this one come up that says all in one wp migration you're going to click install now then click activate now once you do that on the left hand side you're going to scroll down where you can see all in one wp migration and you're going to click on import now depending on your web host this number here may not be 32 it may be a lot higher, it may be a lot lower. If it's not at least 32, you're gonna to have to submit a ticket to your web host and ask them to increase your maximum upload file size to at least 32 megabytes. Any web host will do this for you. Now, once that's done, you wanna click Import From and click on File. Now, below this video, I will include the link to my custom WordPress theme and it's going to allow you to download that theme and it's going to also give you the username and password to log in once you install it okay so when you click the link that's under this video for the theme you're going to see two files here if you click on login details it's going to show you the username and the password then you have this one here that says affiliate site.wpress this is the file you're going to be uploading using the all-in-one migration plugin so all you have to do is click on this and then you want to click on download and do a direct download save it somewhere on your computer where you know where it's at because that's what we're going to be uploading for me i just created a folder called wp theme and i'm just going to go ahead and save it to that folder okay so when that's done we're going to jump back to our website and we're going to click on import from file and then we're going to click on affiliate site.wpress and click open. And once again, depending on your web host, this may take 20 or 30 seconds. This may take up to five minutes or longer for it to import this theme. And you can see here it's going through the process. It's checking the, the extensions. Then a pop-up comes up. It says that this import process is going to overwrite your website. So if you already have something installed on this website, it's going to completely get rid of anything that's on there and it's going to replace it with this new WordPress theme. So you can use this on, on an existing WordPress website if you want to, but just keep in mind anything that's on there is going to be deleted with this new theme. So if you're okay with that, click on proceed. It says your site has been imported successfully. So if we click finish and now if we come up here to my blog and visit site, this is what our new website looks like that fast that easy to do and that's how easy it is to have your website up and running and ready to go and actually if you just leave it like this here it looks like a website that's been online for a while because it's already got some content on there you can go in and edit that content and change it up if you want to or you can just go in and start adding your own content so what you would do is go back into your account now the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to log into your new website using your new username and password that came with this theme. 
So if we go over here, if we click on any one of these links, it's basically it's it's just going to take us back to the login page telling us, you know, you got to log in because your username and password has been changed. So what you're going to do is you're going to get the username and password from the link below this video that I showed you earlier and you're going to go ahead and enter that to log in. All right, once you're logged in on the left hand side, you want to come down and click on users. And you can see the default user. This is what you're logged in as right now. So to create your own, you're going to come up here and click on add new. And now you're going to set up a username, an email, and a password that you can use to log in with. Okay, so I just entered a generic username and email. Obviously, you'll want this to be something you can remember. And you want to also come down here, generate a password. And then you want to copy this and you want to save it. If you don't copy and save this as well as your username, you're not going to be able to log into your WordPress website. Now, once you do that, it's very important you come down here under role and you select administrator this is going to give you rights to do anything you want to within your wordpress website and then you can leave this checked or not that's up to you when you're done just click add new user okay now we have our new user added so what we want to do is log in under the new user we just created so to do that we're going to come up here on the right and hover over howdy admin click log out and now we're going to log in using the account information we just set up. Okay, and once you do that, go back to users again. And now you can delete this default uh, username and password. And attribute all the content to the user you just created. And that's all there is to it. Now you have your own username and password you can use to sign in to your website. Now the other thing you want to do is come down here to settings and go to general and you want to update this so you want to give your site a title so whatever the name of your website is you want to update that down here you want this to be your email address so if anybody sends emails to your website or through a contact form this is the default email address it's going to send it to and then just come down and click on save changes and then after that you can just come in here and edit your site so if you come over and click on posts this is going to show you some of the articles that's already on your website and to edit them all you have to do is hover over them click on edit it's going to take you in the post where you can change the title if you want you can change the content you can change the featured image if you do any of that make sure you come up here and click on update or you can add your own new post which to do that you would just hover over post click on add new and then you would give your post a new title you would come down here and fill out all the details if you click this toggle this toolbar toggle it's going to give you more options here so basically just like any word processor you're going to have uh, it works the same way if you're like me and you don't like to write your own content or you have a hard idea coming up with content to post on your blog I will give you a huge tip of something that I use to basically create all of my blog posts for me so if you go to a website called tryarticleforge.com you can check it out you can even try it free for I think like seven days but what it is is let me drag this over here is it's a tool that I use to create articles with so basically I'll come over here to new article and I'll put in my main keyword make money online or whatever it is then you can add sub keywords and what it'll do is it will create an article with the main topic of make money online and it will use different content from different sources based on these keywords to add to it to make it very readable and there's a lot of different languages here you can choose from and when you do that you can come down here you can choose your article length I made mine around 750 add titles add an image add a video you can have it to replace keywords with links so if you have affiliate links you want it to automatically replace you can do that and you can set it to automatically post to your WordPress blog in fact over here it even has a scheduler so it'll automatically create articles for you based on these keywords over and over again and automatically post them to your website and let me show you what I mean if we look at this article that it created for me this is what it is here's the title of it and we can read through it and this is a unique article and it reads very well so I'm not going to read it to you but you can scroll through here and you can read it and it has a built-in um, grammar editor so if you hover over it it'll say you know do you want to replace it with this or not um, but once you're done with this you can copy this if you want to you can get the HTML version of it if you want to 
or you can spin it into different versions. You can come up here to operations and you can also post it to your WordPress site. So that's what I'm gonna do right now so we can see what it looks like on our website. But first, let me go back here. We'll go here and I'll show you if I refresh this, it's the same thing that we had before. And then if I take this and go post to WordPress, and I'm just gonna choose my blog here that I just added. I want it to be published. I can choose the categories I already have on the website, such as affiliate marketing, and we could do uh, maybe work from home. And then I can add tags if I want to. We can just say affiliate marketing for my tag. And then article title, I'll just leave it the way it is and go ahead and click post. And we're gonna give it just a minute here. And we'll go ahead and refresh. And you can see this is the article. Now, what we'll have to do though, it doesn't set a featured image for it. So if we click this, it's gonna take us to the article that it just created. It added the video for us and everything. We can go up here and click on edit post. And then down here, we can add a featured image and that'll show up on the home page. So that's unfortunately something it doesn't do. Most tools don't give you featured images to use for your post, but uh, you can add your own. So this is all there is to it though for adding content. If you wanna use a tool like this, it makes it super easy to just create articles fast, even on a schedule and automatically add them to your WordPress post. And once you get everything filled out, you're gonna come over here on categories, select what categories you want this article to appear under. You can give it some tags. You're gonna add a featured image and then click publish and that's all there is to it. Now you can also choose to select this, featured this post on the home page, and if you do that, what's gonna happen is it's gonna show up here at the top along with the featured image that you added for that post. And then whatever categories you selected from here is where your article is gonna show up if they click on these categories up here. And then you can come up here, you can edit your about page, you can click on about, you can come up here, click on edit page. You can change this content to fit you. The contact page, it already has um, a little bit of information here, but you can add your own. You can add your own contact forms, your own WordPress plugins, whatever you want uh, to kind of make this your own website. But that's all there is to it, guys. That's how easy. If you want to use the WordPress theme that I had custom made uh, for my customers and my clients and what I personally use on a lot of my websites, uh, this is it. You can set it up and easily less than five minutes. Uh, all you have to do is just make sure you have a hosting account, a domain name, install WordPress on it, and then you can just import all this over and then start working on it and have your site up and running. You can use this theme for whatever you want to. If you wanna build these sites out, by using this theme and then resell the websites, you have the rights to do that. You can do that if you want to. Uh, whatever you want to, this theme is yours for the using. So if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy these kind of training uh, videos and getting free stuff like this, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that bell icon, and I'll notify you when I upload more videos like this. Thanks.